And then the last thing we're going to talk about in this section is relative unfairness. So there's absolute and now there's relative unfairness. And basically what you're doing is converting the absolute unfairness into a percentage and that percentage is called the relative unfairness. I will say that my math lab actually lets you leave it in decimal form. So instead of saying like 55%, you would just say 0.55. So all you have to do is take the absolute unfairness of the apportionment. So you got to calculate that first. And then you are going to divide that by the smaller average constituency of the two states. Now, if you think about it, <laughs> um, you're going to be taking the larger, I'll call it the AC, the average constituency, minus the smaller average constituency, and then you're going to divide it by the smaller average constituency. If you look at this, this is something we did in chapter eight, except it was, um, what was it, the new, uh, I called it, you take the new amount minus the base amount, which I refer to as the old amount, and divided it by the old amount. And if you look at this in terms of like color, I was like new minus old divided by old. Well, on this one, you're taking larger minus the smaller and dividing it by the smaller. Um, that was the percent change problems we were doing when we did new minus old over old percent change. So uh, an example of this, it says compute the relative unfairness for the apportionment of representatives to Wisconsin and Texas and also the proportion of delegates for the Weavers Guild and Artists Alliance. So they first calculate the absolute unfairness of the two and that's taking the larger minus the smaller, right? That gives you this number. So you take that relative unfairness, and I guess I should have put this in a different color, sorry. <laughs> you take the larger minus the smaller, and that's gonna give you uh, this number here. <clears throat> so you take that number, and divide it by the smaller um, average constituency. And when you do, um, just round off to whatever my math lab tells you. And if you've never seen this little symbol right here before, it looks like a equal sign on crack. Um, <laughs> it's like all squiggly. That means approximately, okay? So they're rounding it off. So they said to round it off to the nearest hundredth here. 0.02, but that's really 2%. That's a very small unfairness. Relative unfairness is about 2%. But now let's go look at the weavers and the artists. So when you take the larger average constituency minus the smaller average constituency, that gives you the absolute unfairness. And you're going to take that absolute unfairness and divide it by the smaller average constituency. And this one comes out to be 0.125. That is really 12.5%, where up here, this was 2%. There's a lot more unfairness going on in the weavers and artists area than Wisconsin and Texas. So. But like I said, my math lab just wants you to leave them in decimal form, okay? So don't be putting percentages in there. Didn't ask for them. But that's really what you're saying. And that is relative unfairness. So what I'm going to do now is start doing videos of each of the my math lab examples um, in separate videos. So that's the end of my lecture part.